I'm female 33 engaged to my fiancé male 36. I have a 4 years old daughter and he has a 16 years old daughter, he comes from a conservative family so we won't move in together till after marriage. So far we're on good terms as a blended family. But I noticed that my stepdaughter acts kind of distant towards my daughter. Every time I try to talk to my fiancé about it he'd tell me to give the kids a chance to bond and warm up to each other, my stepdaughter's 16th birthday took place on Sunday. Since she's into baking. She decided to bake cupcakes instead of having an actual birthday cake, my daughter and I went over to my fiancé's house to attend the party and I brought my stepdaughter a gift which was an iPhone, we sat down as she started serving everyone cupcakes. Then when it was my daughter's turn she bluntly said she was sorry but she didn't save any for my daughter. I felt confused I asked if she made enough cupcakes and whether there were guests that came uninvited. She said no and that she just didn't make one for my daughter. I asked why she refused to say. I was so mad and felt hurt on my daughter's behalf. I got up and told my fiancé that I wanted to leave. My fiancé tried to stop me and offered his cupcake to my daughter but I refused to take it. On the way out I grabbed the gift I brought from my stepdaughter and she stood there and watched. I could hear her yell, Dad she took the iPhone, while I was walking out with my daughter. My fiancé tried to get me to go back inside but I refused. Later he came over and we had an argument. He said that I overreacted and that I know how some teenagers can be moody and do random stuff without an explanation so I shouldn't have taken it personally. I said she excluded my daughter and didn't save her a cupcake but he said it was just a cupcake and then reminded me that he offered his cupcake and said I should have accepted it and called it a day. He said taking the iPhone which was supposed to be a gift back was poor taste and it might hurt my relationship with his daughter. I refused to give it to him so he could give it to her since she was crying about it. He left and was mad at me, we haven't talked since then except via texts. I, 26 male, think this is completely ridiculous but maybe I'm actually wrong so here goes, I've been with my girlfriend, 26F, for 5 years but we've known each other since we were 15. I'm fortunate to have my own place and we've discussed for a while her moving in with me as she has been staying in the house more often, this wasn't a problem until she was about to move in. I have a few photos in the house of me with members of my family the problem is with a specific photo of me with my brother and father. She told me to remove the photo before she moved in to accommodate her I asked her why she answered that it's weird, but to me there's nothing weird about the photo she's the one making it weird. Maybe the only thing weird about the photos is that all of them are when I was a child but none of them are inappropriate or have something you can take the wrong way. She had no other argument and in the end I refused and she said she wouldn't move in and I was okay with that, this has been a topic of discussion for the past few days. Some of our friends and even my father said that I should remove the photo to make her feel welcome but I just find that again ridiculous. I was at Walmart with my mom who is disabled and has disabled parking. There was no disabled parking available. The only close parking was for expectant mothers and families, so I parked there instead of driving around. Some guy called me out saying he would call mall security. I told him my mother is disabled and has the disabled parking as well. This guy doubled down and said it didn't matter. I ended up flipping him off, showing him the parking pass. Am I the asshole? I'm a single mother, and I live with my two kids, Adam and Zoe, Adam pays me rent, but pays significantly less than he would be paying if he went to go live elsewhere, even with roommates. Rent is very expensive in our area and he's living with me whilst working full time so he can save up for a deposit on a house, around a month ago, Adam asked if his girlfriend of 10 months, Millie, could stay in his room as she doesn't get along with her parents and was struggling to find somewhere to live. I agreed because they're both adults and I've met Millie quite a few times and I thought she was a really nice girl, at first it was going fine, but last week something happened. I came home from work a few hours early, 
and I walked in on Millie yelling in Zoe's face and swearing at her. Millie went silent when she noticed me and I asked what the hell was going on. Millie ran off into her and Adam's room and Zoe was crying. I asked Zoe what happened and she said that she accidentally spilled Pepsi on Millie's jeans and that she tried to apologize but Millie blew up at her. I knocked on the door and told Millie we need to talk. I asked her for her side of the story, Millie accused Zoe of spilling her drink on purpose and pretending it was an accident, and said that they are very expensive jeans. I told Millie that I would get Zoe to wash her jeans for her. Millie had a blank look. I asked Millie what she thinks could help make things right, to which she said, I dunno. I told her that I understand she's annoyed but she doesn't get to treat my minor daughter like that. And that if she does it again she'll be out, if she has another problem involving Zoe that isn't an emergency, she should contact me before taking it into her own hands. I left it at that. Zoe washed her jeans and gave them back to her clean and dry the next day. Millie told Adam what happened and they're both accusing me of being unfair, and said my comment about Millie being out was abusive. I think what I did was perfectly fair, I told my older sister about what happened and asked what she thinks, and she said I'm being too harsh on Adam and Millie, and said I need to chill. I am not a big eater. I like going out with my friends and enjoying a reasonable meal with a beer or two. My friends go nuts. They order $100 dollar meals and appetizers with extra sides. When the bill comes they always just say to split it evenly. So I end up paying three times the cost of my meal and they each save a few dollars, we can all afford this. No one is going broke from these meals but I don't think it's fair. I have mentioned a few times that we should get separate bills but they never agree. Last time we went out I was meeting my girlfriend afterwards for a movie. She is not the biggest fan of my friends so she didn't join us. But I knew I had a ride home, I noticed that the restaurant we were at had a really interesting cocktails menu. Including a margarita made with Clay Azul Reposado and an old fashioned made with Pappy Van Winkle bourbon. So as I invited my burger and fries I enjoyed a few drinks. When the bill came my total was about $250. Which is about $200 more than I usually top out at. We split the bill but they were all giving me side eye, one of them texted me and said I was an asshole for padding the bill like that and if I did it again he was going to insist that we have individual bills, I texted everyone and asked if they all felt the same. They did. So I apologized and agreed that from now on when we go out I will pay my own bill, my girlfriend thinks I'm right for proving my point but I am still feeling resentment from my friends. My 28 female, and husband, 29 male, have a daughter Peyton, 7 female, dot, Peyton goes to a small school with 20 kids in her grade. Her birthday party is next month and we sent out invitations to her friends at school. We invited the whole class except one student, the student we did not invite has bullied Peyton several times, we've had meetings with the school and parents. Obviously Peyton doesn't want this kid at her party. The other girl's mother called me to talk about it saying how now her daughter is crying she was the only kid not invited and everyone at school is talking about the party. Peyton's parties are known by her classmates to be very over the top. I explained her daughter isn't nice to my daughter and that's the reason she wasn't invited, the mother knows this. The mother said I'm teaching my child to be a bully and use her wealth to make friends. I disagreed. The mother then asked if she had her daughter apology and write Peyton a letter we could reconsider. I told her we would not and it has become a big deal every time I see the mom, am I the asshole? I 17 female cannot stand my dad's wife Lou 42 female. We've never gotten along, but she adores my brothers and of course her son 13 male. She thinks I look like my mom who she hates and I guess it's a contributing factor and means she's stuck looking at me when I'm at her place, but it's mostly because she likes validation of guys and will bring any girl down if meant all the guys in her life would adore her but I don't care, because I don't bother her and she usually doesn't bother me unless we're arguing. 
Me and my older brother Lyle 25 male have an amazing relationship. We're the closet in age and if I ever have an issue, I go to him and like siblings do, we chill out in each other's room. Lou hates this and likes to barge in whenever she can to cause issues and it causes arguments but this one was a last resort, me and Lyle were watching America's Got Talent auditions on YouTube and Lou came home from work, I heard her talking to my dad and he said I was here with Lyle and she immediately blew up and flew up the stairs and started screaming at me. Telling me that she's sick to death of having to say that I'm not allowed boys in my room no matter if it's my brother, and this pissed me off so I asked what she was insinuating and she says, you're literally in love with Lyle, you're always hugging and hiding up here, you sick little hooker, so I stood up and started yelling, getting in her face and said, don't fucking sexualize me and my brother just because you're the weirdo who wants her son and stepsons to be in love with her. I left after that and my mom and her side of the family agree I acted fine but my dad now won't talk to me and I feel full of guilt. My wife and I have been together for 6 years and I am willing to admit that she didn't start acting like this until we got pets. She was very much so a very compromising and solution finding individual prior to getting the animals, my father's home burnt down and he ended up going to stay at a hostel, I told him he could stay here but he refused, as he didn't want to be a burden. He did ask that I take in his animals temporarily however. He has a dog and three cats. Our household has been completely pet free the entire time we have been together. I ran it by the old lady and she said it was fine providing it wasn't for a long time, she has never wanted animals. It's been 4 months now and my wife is slowly starting to become a person I've never seen her be, like the dog will stare at her when she is eating and whine and my wife gets pissed. The dog is definitely begging and I understand it's irritating but she's being kind of ridiculous. She will tell the dog to go in the other room, which is completely okay with me, but then becomes super frustrated because the dog will poke his head out of the doorway and stare her down while she is eating while licking his mouth and whining. It just frustrates her beyond belief. It didn't originally but it certainly does now. She has been eating on the porch most nights because she said she is tired of being watched and not being able to eat her food in peace. Or the cats, whom she definitely likes a whole lot more than the dog, are even starting to piss her off. Like if she is reading a book, the cats immediately run over and knock the book out of her hands. The second she picks up her phone, the smallest cat will come over and attack her hands trying to play. Or they will all come in and start getting on her at 3 AM every single night. I've seen it happen. She definitely isn't over exaggerating about it. It's like the second she tries to do anything at all. The cats are all over her. And again, I get it, it's frustrating but she is being ridiculous. She lost it yesterday and tossed the cat off the bed after the cat ripped the phone from her hands while she was in a phone call. She yelled at the dog to get away from her this morning because she was cooking and the dog kept trying to jump on her. Like screamed at the dog to go the fuck away. I'm getting quite fed up with the constant tension and told her to come off it and stop being a drama queen after she yelled at me that she was fucking sick of being mauled all the time. She left. Didn't even turn off the stove. Just stormed out of the house and hasn't come back. Am I the asshole? I just feel she is going overboard and it came off harsher than intended. My kids, female 14, male 17, have been insisting that I buy a laptop for them. They both have tablets that they use for school but they complained that they need a laptop. I could only afford one laptop and knowing my kids, they will fight over it every day if I make them share so I had to give it to one of them and I knew that my son needs it a lot more than my daughter so I bought one for him and to avoid drama I told him to just use it in his room and not to let his sister see it. It was fine for a few days but then my daughter started to get suspicious about why my son spends all his time in his room so yesterday she ran to his room and opened the door. Without knocking and caught him using his laptop. She literally threw a tantrum, like crying and screaming at us until I sent her to her room. 
She called her grandparents and told them about it and while they are on our side they say we are assholes for keeping it a secret so am I the problem here.